So good morning guys, Salaam, Namaste, your lifestyle coach Kunal Sharma here. So today we are going to discuss about second part of gut health, which is, which is how you are going to recover your gut health. So first thing first, sometimes it is very difficult to recover your gut microbiome, okay, gut bacteria, that's what it called. So why? Because uh, sometimes because of our high stress level, wrong food, alcohol consuming, too many cups of coffees and lot of other stimulants like a smoking and lot of other things. If you take constantly, you damage your gut on that level, you cannot come back. There, there is a solution. There, there is a patience. Okay. If a person is patient, okay about his gut health to recover is he is able to listen and do whatever uh, wherever he is taking the guidance there is a possibility but the possibility is very less once you damage the gut it is impossible to recover so so what we should do to set our microbiome forever all right, so that we should not feel fatigued when you get up from the morning. You should not feel tired when you're working in the office. You should not feel, uh, you know, you should not feel low when you're in the gym or when you're on the running track. So these are the symptoms. Sometimes when you're training, you're training and you're going overboard. So that means you're training or you're overtraining. So once you start overtraining, you don't realize that because that time you're feeling good. But there is a very fine line, training and overtraining. Overtraining also kill your good bacteria, suppresses your digestive tract. Okay, so there are a lot of issues with overtraining. So training is good, overtraining is bad. First thing first. So focus on the time period once you enter in a gym or on a running track, wherever you go. This is the first step to correct your microbiome. Second thing is, you start taking fermented vegetables like a kefir, kimchi, fermented cheese, uh, pickles. Uh, these things, fermented vegetables, uh, contains a lot of good bacteria. So you can import. What else we can do? You can take supplementation. All right. You have to check. I'm not going to guide you. That is called probiotics. What is probiotics? Pro means for, biotics means life. Antibiotics. Anti means cutting and biotics means life. So cutting the life of what? Your microbiome. Probiotics means improving the life for what? Your microbiome. So probiotics is supplementation. What brand? I'm not going to recommend because I'm not branding here any kind of brand. All right. I'm not doing advertisement. So you have to choose with your doctor or you check online. It should be organic. What else we can do? You should do meditation, cool down, calm down your nervous system. Once your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system goes haywire, the balance between activation and recovery and rejuvenation, your microbiome diversity also gets affected. So meditation helps a lot. What else we should do? What else we should do? You should go for a walk all right into the forest if you have go close to the sea if you have a beach so nature also heals you what else we should do take care of your hydration all right take care of your sea salt your salt in your body so these are the small small components which will help you to heal your body by nature all right supplementation is the last thing okay very last what kind of supplementation, how much you should do, what kind of vitamins, how you should do, you should take. This is the work for your doctor, not for me. I'm not a doctor. I just, just giving you the path. So these are the things you should do on a regular basis. What else we should do? We should start taking plant based soluble and insoluble fiber. For example, chia seed, flax seeds. So pumpkin seeds, these all seeds and other seeds mix together and use it on a regular basis. They contain soluble and insoluble fiber, which is good for your gut. Psyllium husk. It is one of the best again for your gut health. Okay. What is psyllium husk? 
you can check in the Google. My my thing is to just take the name for you. So to, to guide you, to take you there. The rest is everything is available on Google. So if you have gas, bloating, indigestion, SIBO, small intestine, bacterial overgrowth, you should take all these things. You should do all these things. So take care. Have a great day. Keep smiling. Contact me on www.jumpstartfit.in. Check my website on a regular basis. Email me, message me for exciting and beautiful workshops for mental and physical health. All right. For students on corporate health, anybody, anywhere, you can contact me. All right. And I will be there. Take care, guys. Keep smiling. Love you all. Bye.